there are a lot of things that we as a Malaysian can do better. Only if we understand the story of Malaysia, or we cannot change the future of Malaysia in terms of economy, politics, and religion. When someone mentions Anak Malaysia, I feel warmth in my heart. This is because I can feel the unity among Malaysians. We live harmoniously in our motherland, Malaysia, regardless of race, religion, and language. So I would define Anak Malaysia is someone who are really love with this country and proud to be a Malaysian. Anak Malaysia bagi saya apabila dia bangga dengan bahasanya, hebat dengan resam budaya, cantik budi pekertinya. Dia tidak lupa jasa nenek moyangnya dan perpaduan kukuh dalam jiwa. Anak Malaysia berdiri di dunia nyata, menjunjung rukun negara bersama-sama, menjadikan penyambung warisan kepimpinan bertaraf dunia. Anak Malaysia jarang mengalah dalam langkah, pandai mengatur diri tak mengikut nafsu serakah. Anak Malaysia pantang menyerah sebelum kalah, namun senyuman yang ikhlas sentiasa terpancar di wajah. Pada saya, inilah dia jiwa, jiwa yang padat dengan cinta, terikat sentiasa masih bernyawa demi tanah air tercinta. To me, anak Malaysia are the youths that come from different cultural backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds from all around the Malaysia, working together and getting to know each other and living in this beautiful, diverse country and being proud of living in this beautiful and diverse country. Anak Malaysia bukan sekadar kewarganegaraannya, malah lebih jauh dari itu. Selain lahir di tanah bertuah ini, anak Malaysia juga merupakan rakyat yang cukup berbangga dengan negara kelahirannya, malah mempunyai matlamat yang jitu dalam memajukan negara dalam pelbagai bidang seperti ekonomi, sains dan teknologi serta banyak lagi. Anak Malaysia juga sentiasa menghormati kedaulatan negara serta menghormati masyarakat di sekeliling walaupun berbeza bangsa dan agama. Lebih tepat lagi, lafaz ikrar rukun negara yang dilafazkan bukannya janji kosong semata-mata namun dilunaskan dengan jaya. I want to be able to be part of the change maker of reformations in Malaysia. There are a lot of things that we as a Malaysian can do better in terms of economy and further development that we need. So being part as the policy maker is actually a direct way to bring reforms into Malaysia. To make Malaysia better, we don't need only one ideology. Well, I would like to study at other countries like UK and China. Many people will say that, Hey, you are not Malaysian, kan? Mengapa tak belajar kat Malaysia? Yeah, I did not disagree with it. With the treasure of knowledge and experience, I can bring their successful culture, creative idea, and amazing work back to our beloved country. Why not use my effort to make more people know about Malaysia? My ultimate passion is to become a grassroots organizer for non-profit organizations so I can impose policies and such to improve marginalized people's living circumstances. That is my ultimate goal in life. So I would aspire to be a lawyer growing up and specifically I would love to be an environmental lawyer. I feel that global warming is going in a rapid speed and I feel that I would love to contribute in reducing the risk 20 years down the line towards our earth. Saya mempunyai impian yang besar untuk mencurahkan ilmu-ilmu yang baik dan berharga buat anak-anak bangsa. Menjadi seorang pendidik yang tekun menyampaikan ilmu kepada anak-anak murid adalah impian saya. Bukan sekadar ilmu akademik semata-mata, namun saya juga bercita-cita untuk memberikan tunjuk ajar dalam mengenal dunia, membangun potensi mereka agar mereka menjadi seorang manusia yang berakhlak, bertanggungjawab dan cemerlang demi masa depan mereka. Malaysia really does fit in the picture of my dreams as I hope to contribute back to Malaysia by providing universal health care while working in the medical industry. In my dream, Malaysia is really really unique and if I tend to go to overseas or other country, I will go but I will be back to Malaysia because Malaysia is my one and only home. I definitely want to um, efficiently use my privilege to as much as I can to improve the circumstances and speak up about marginalized people's um, issues that they are facing or just try to financially improve their circumstances.
I would like to be a businessman who link Malaysia and other countries and help improve Malaysia economic conditions. Malaysia had a high potential to become successful. As I mentioned just now, I would like to bring wealth to Malaysia with the experience I learned from other countries. Provide Malaysians a better job, a better working environment. Increase their knowledge about how to make money instead of just simple physical work for their whole life. Make our people more creative, equitable. My plan to serve Malaysia or what I want to give back to Malaysia is I want to be a lecturer when I achieve my master or PhD in astrophysics in astronomy. In simple words, I want to give back what the knowledge that I have gained when I abroad. With this, I can help all Malaysian youth to study and serve back to Malaysia. Harapan saya untuk semua anak Malaysia adalah jangan jangan putus asa dengan mengejar impian anda. Mungkin generasi kita merupakan generasi yang paling tidak senonoh, yang paling taksub dan ramai lagi label yang telah diletakkan pada generasi kita. Our generation might be the most fragile generations but we can be the strongest generations ever. Because how we survive and how we fight through the pandemic as a youth really prove it all. Sebab apa yang kita lalui selama pandemik ini berlaku Membuktikan bahawa kita sangat kuat Kita sebagai anak muda, kita sebagai belia Malaysia sangat-sangat kuat Jadi jangan pernah putus asa dengan impian anda Dan apa-apa pun halangan serta cabaran dihadapi Jangan lupa bahawa anda mempunyai anak-anak Malaysia yang lain yang boleh membantu Hulurkan tangan untuk menerima bantuan I hope everyone can at least get their SPM certificate because nowadays lots of degree holders are unemployed. Remember, never compromise on education. I met some parents refused to let their children continue their studies in university because of the poverty. And some even don't agree their children to continue studying from four after their pediatry exam. All I can say is if they don't continue their education now, they will be poorer in the future because our community is really competitive. Thus, education is extremely important and please always continue your study if possible. Saya berharap semua anak Malaysia dapat bersama-sama berbakti kepada negara dalam pelbagai bidang. Kuncinya, dengan pendidikan yang baik, kita mampu mengubah segalanya. Bukan sahaja mengubah nasib ke arah yang lebih hebat di mata dunia, malah dapat mengubah nasib keluarga dan negara untuk bertahan di dalam kehidupan yang penuh cabaran ini. Pendidikan yang dimaksudkan bukanlah hanya sains dan matematik, namun semua bidang seperti keusahawanan, perakaunan dan lain-lain lagi. Walaupun dari latar belakang yang berbeza sekalipun, selagi kita bergelar anak Malaysia, kita mempunyai tugas dan cabaran yang perlu dilunaskan untuk menjadikan Malaysia gah di mata dunia dalam segenap aspek. My hopes for semua anak Malaysia is that everyone receives equal access to quality education. I hope we can contribute to the well-being of society as well as advocate for more authentic and inclusive education for all. I hope semua anak Malaysia receive a good quality education and learn the skills they will need to thrive in the modern country. I also hope semua anak Malaysia will get an equal education no matter where they are, either city or rural. I also hope semua anak Malaysia study diligently up to the highest level of education and do not forget to serve back our country. Saya anak Malaysia. Saya anak Malaysia. Siapa saya? Saya anak Malaysia. Saya anak Malaysia. Kita semua anak Malaysia. Saya anak Malaysia dan kita semua anak Malaysia. Saya anak Malaysia. Anda anak Malaysia. Kita semua anak Malaysia.